Good morning, guys. I am Vinny. This is my partner, Erica, over here. We are going to be the ones here to kick your butts in today's workout. So for today's workout, we're going to be doing an upper body and core day, and as we're going to require a single dumbbell, all right? Uh, if you don't have a dumbbell laying at home, you can use a large jug of water, um, a bag full of apples or onions or potatoes or something. Uh, you can also use a book bag filled with a couple books uh, to whatever weight you need. So even if you have a book bag, you can do this. Um, anyway, pretty much anybody can do this at home, all right? So find something that is of a decent to substantial weight and we're gonna get you guys working out, all right? We're gonna give this about four to five minutes for people to gather around and get ready to work out. Uh, and then we'll get cranking after that, guys. So you got a few minutes, we're gonna let some people gather around. Uh, if you have any questions, this would be a good time to ask them. Um, other than that, we're on standby, get a couple people around and then we will get this work in. Huh? Yeah, you better go grab that bag of onions. You need something to lift. You're not, you're not gonna be able to know which stinks. You were the onions, you know what I'm saying? What are you supposed to do then? A bag of onions? You could totally do some of the bag of onions. Give me a bag of onions. I'll do the workout with a bag of onions. Okay. Weird. Morning, everybody. Good morning guys, how's everybody doing? Oh, hope you guys are ready to work out. We got about two more minutes left, give some people time to gather around and then we will get started. Uh, who we got right now, who's here? Two people, three people, I don't know, who's here? We're gonna kick somebody either way. two minutes or a minute or so, so I hope you guys are ready. You will need a weight of some sort, a dumbbell, maybe some onions, a bag of onions, a book bag full of something, uh, anything. Just here for the Majestics. Boy, you know it. Oh, good morning, everybody. You ready to get rolling? Three. Killing it right now. So this is our first time on Twitch. Um, I think we're gonna start doing Twitch more because Facebook Live sucks. And Twitch allows us to post these videos from here to YouTube as well, so we have a way to save them and share them more effectively. So we will be on Twitch more often doing these workouts. So if you guys want workouts, home workouts with equipment or body weight stuff, um, we're gonna be here probably three times a week, hopefully, if things go well. Um, so we'll see how today goes and we'll go from there. What time is it where you're at, Poulter? Oh, I do believe he lives in the Netherlands. That's pretty crazy. All right, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna start off with a warm up. What we're going to do is we're going to do a few exercises to get your body loosened up and prepared for today's exercises. And we're going to be doing each of these for about 30 seconds of pop. And we're going to be doing this based off our timer that we have here on the floor. 4 p.m. It's not bad. It's almost dinner time. 
I'm already thinking about dinner. We're doing tacos again? No. Not doing tacos again. We did tacos yesterday. I guess two days in a row is a no go. All right. Um, so we're going to start our warm ups here. So all you need to do is you need to make sure that we have plenty of room to move around and you're not going to slap anything or anyone around you and you need enough room to move those arms around fully. The first exercise that we're going to be doing is an arm circle. So we're going to have the arm straight out to the side and you're going to be going in nice big circles. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise, big or small, as long as we keep it moving the whole time. And we're going to be starting here in about 10 seconds. Make sure you don't hit anyone or anything. Tacos every day. Absolutely right. Ready? Arm circles. They can be big, they can be small. You can go clockwise, you can go counterclockwise. As long as those arms keep moving the entire time. There you go. Nice big circles here. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are ready to work out. Glad to see you all here. Nice circles, nice circles. Ten more seconds, you guys are looking good. Down. Next on our agenda is going to be an air press. We're going to take our hands, I'm going to place them right above the shoulders. I'm going to pull my elbows back a little bit. And we're going to press all the way up till the arm is at full extension. And then I'm going to pull and tuck all the way down into my shoulders. So press all the way up overhead and then tuck your arms down into your shoulders as much as you can. Tuck and press. Tuck and press. Palter, thanks for the host, buddy. I appreciate it. Tucking all the way down and pressing up. Big squeeze at the top and then right back down. Looking good. You guys looking good at home? We got 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Tuck, pressing all the way up. There you go, E. Down. Next is going to be neck circles in which you will tuck your chin into your chest as much as you can and we will rotate the neck around fully as much as you can in each direction. We're going to go for half the timer clockwise and then the other half of the timer is going to be counterclockwise. So ready? You're ready? Roll that neck. There you go. Nice and slow. We're not in any rush here. We're not at a corn concert or anything. You're not trying to break your spine currently. Just keep it moving and keep it tight. Now go ahead and change directions. Go ahead and rotate the other way. Ooh, I heard a little crack there. You all right? <laughs> she might be paralyzed. There you go, looking good. Sorry. Keep it up, guys. Down. Next up is going to be side bends. We're going to be alternating between left and right. So we're going to get nice and wide. That hip is going to get kicked out to the side, and I'm going to bend and reach as far over as I can. Come back to neutral, bend and reach as far as you can. All right? Make sure you're not going to hit anybody. Go. Hips come out, reach over, pause briefly, and then right back to neutral, switching to the other side. There you go. Big reach. Back to neutral, rotating over. We're trying to take full and deep breaths while you're doing this exercise. Trying to fill that side body up, fill those lungs up. There you go. Nice big stretch. Ten seconds left. There you go, there you go. Down. Next up is going to be a standing torso rotation. So what we're going to do is we're going to have both hands placed out in front of us. And what we're going to do is I'm going to bring one hand back, keeping the other hand directly in the middle. I'm going to try to rotate behind me as much as I can and then come back to neutral. Rotate, back to neutral. So both arms out, twisting as much as we can, trying to open that up as much as you can, and then come back to neutral. You're trying to keep that front hand pointed dead straight the whole time, open it up, back to neutral. Switching sides, open and squeeze, back to neutral. Good job. Neutral, try and keep that front hand right where it's at as we're rotating. Try and open that chest up as much as you possibly can here. There you go, E. Next up, we're going to go ahead and pick up your dumbbell or your bag of onions or book bag, whatever you want to use. We're going to start off with a nice light weight here, and this is going to be a single arm shoulder press. So nice and easy, coming from about the eyes to directly overhead. So we have the weight in hand, pressing overhead. We want to make sure we're not tilting very much. We want to stay nice and neutral, pressing to lock out, 
and then right back down to around that eye level. There we go. Good job, guys. Keep it up. As soon as we're done with this, we're going to get a brief second to switch hands, and then we will be going directly to the other side. Go ahead and switch hands. And begin. 20 seconds here. Nice, steady pace. Keep your core tight. We want to make sure we're not leaning as we're pressing here. We want to stay completely upright. Nice, tight core. If your feet are too narrow here, it's going to feel like you're losing balance. Make sure you have a nice, stable um, foundation here as we're pressing. That was our press. Next up is going to be a single arm row. So we're going to get in a staggered position. I'm going to bend that front knee, and I'm going to have my hand right above my knee, not on it, right above it. I'm leaning at about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to pull my elbows straight back, right to my hip, and then right back down. Hip, right back down. So we're in a nice long stance, leaning, hand is right above the knee, and we're pulling that arm back right to the hip, squeezing that upper mid back as you're pulling that arm back. All right? If you're pulling your hand to your armpit like this, that's going to be all bicep and no back. We do not want that. So we're going to be switching sides in five seconds. Get ready. Begin. Pull and squeeze. Right back down. There we go. Nice big squeeze. Nice steady pace here. Nice and easy. Make sure you're breathing. You guys are doing great. Five seconds left. Down. Great job, E. And last up for our warm-up is going to be a twist. So we're going to get a nice steady stance here. I'm going to grab my dumbbell or bag of onions by the side. I'm going to start at one hip, rotating as much as I can, and I'm going to rotate up and away, across, diagonally across my body, and then right back to neutral. Almost like you're throwing a shovel of dirt across your shoulder. Nice steady stance from hip all the way across those shoulders. There we go. Nice diagonal chopping like line with the dumbbell. There you go, tuck it, and right back over. Good job, E. We have five seconds, and then we will be switching sides. And go from hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder. Good job, E. There you go, nice rotation of the torso. Really try and come back, tuck that weight behind your hip, and then try and throw it over your shoulder, keeping your core tight the entire time. All right. That, my friends, was our warm-up. All right? Everything we're going to be doing from here on out is going to be what we consider a working set. This is where we actually start putting some effort in to our exercises. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a rep scheme today of 15 seconds of fast reps, 15 seconds of slow reps, and then finally 15 seconds of a hold of whatever the most difficult position for that specific exercise is going to be. So to start off with, we're going to be doing a single arm shoulder press, the same thing we did for our warm up. You're going to have a nice weight here. And we're going to be on one side for all three times. So we're going to do 15 seconds of a nice fast press. Immediately after that, it's going to be 15 seconds slow. And then after that 15 seconds is up, we're going to do a 15 second hold at the top of our movement here. So it's very important when you are pressing a dumbbell overhead, especially when you're inside, is to make sure that you're sealing is high enough that you're not going to punch it, all right? Luckily, my partner is a little on the shorter side, so we don't have to worry about that very much, but you may need to worry about that. So make sure you press overhead without any weight, make sure you're not going to hit your ceiling, and then we can get going. So once I start this next timer, we're going to do that 15, 15, 15, and then you'll get 15 seconds to switch, and we'll switch to that other side. And as soon as I start this timer, I can't stop it, so it's going. It's hauling balls and we will not stop until that timer's done, and I'm gonna put you guys through the ringer here, all right? So, grab your dumbbell, or your bag of onions, your book bag, small animal, you know, whatever you have at home that you think you can do this with. Yo, bag of onion works, all right? And can I get a, a shout out to my partner here in chat? She works out every day for this stuff. She kills it, she does this for you guys. Let's give her a nice little round of applause in the chat. 
So go ahead and grab your dumbbell. We're going to start off with the right arm pressing overhead with fast presses. All right? You ready, E? Sure. We're going to be starting in 10 seconds here, so go ahead and get ready. These are fast shoulder presses. Begin. Nice and quick here. You're keeping your core tight. We're not trying to use your legs very much. Notice she's not springing very much. She's keeping her legs flexed and tight, and that tummy is tight as well. These are slow reps, so slow. Try and move that dumbbell nice and slow. You don't want to pause at the top or the bottom. We just want to keep a nice, slow pace of movement the entire time. There you go, E. Core stays tight. Last up, we hold. So at the top of the movement, hold that dumbbell at the top, keeping that core tight the entire time. As soon as this 15 seconds is up, you'll get 15 seconds to switch hands. Sound good? All right. Down. Go ahead and bring it to a neutral position. Do not switch hands over your head. That is not a good idea. All right, and we will be starting here in about seven seconds. So go ahead and get that weight up. These are going to be fast presses. Begin. Quick. Keep that core tight. We're not trying to lean very much as you're doing this. There you go. Good presses. Nice quick pace here. There you go. There you go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep moving. Moving on to slow reps, slow, moving that dumbbell nice and slow, keeping that body tight. This could also be a bag of onions or a book bag, a cat maybe, whatever you need, a small weight moving at your house. Five seconds and then we're going to be holding at the top, and hold at the top, keep it tight, keep that core tight, shoulders should be flat, hips should be flat, you should not be leaning while holding this. Five seconds, you guys are almost there. Down. We're going to be switching back to the original arm here. We're going to do this for two sets total, and then we will be changing to our next exercise. All right? So go ahead and get ready. We have fast reps. Get set. Begin. Nice and quick. Core stand tight here. There you go. You rep it out. Rep it out. Keeping it quick. That first round should have been easy. This is going to start getting a little tougher now. Going nice and slow, slow. You don't want to pause at the top or the bottom. We want to keep that dumbbell moving the entire time. We want to make sure that the core is tight, those quads are flexed, and your butt is nice and tight as well. That is your center region. That's what keeps us stable. And hold, keep it at the top. Staying nice and neutral. Breathing deep here. You guys are doing great. Keep it up, almost there. Down, we're gonna be switching sides, other arm. What's up guys, welcome to the party. Hope you guys are working hard. Switching hands, we're going for fast reps in five seconds. Fast reps, let's get it. Now if you want a little bit extra or you feel like your dumbbell's a little light, feel free to keep going or start early before the timer to get a couple extra reps in. Going on to slow reps and slow. Keep that core tight. The, the dumbbell should be moving as slow as you can or bag of onions. I don't know. I'm using a bag of onions next time. I will use a bag of onions. Going to hold at the top. Lock and hold. There we go. She's keeping it tight. She's keeping that core flexed. Keeping it up at the top. Looking good. Looking good. Keep breathing. Good job, guys. All right. Next up on our agenda, I'll take that, is going to be our row. So this is the same thing we did for the warm-up. We're going to be in a staggered position. Hand is going to be right over the knee here. And I'm going to be pulling that elbow straight towards the ceiling, pulling that hand towards the hip. We're doing the same rep scheme here. 15 seconds fast, 15 seconds slow. And that 15 second hold is going to be right here at the top, all right? Make sure we keep a nice flat back. We don't want to be rounded here. And we want a nice big squeeze of that upper back. We're going to be starting here in four seconds. And row. These should be fast rows. Miss Erica just bumped up to 15 pounds here. Feel free to bump up or down in weight depending on what you have. 
If you have a bag of onions and they're a little too heavy, just take a few onions out. And slow reps. Slow, taking your time. Still trying to keep that chest towards the ground. We don't want to stop at the top or the bottom. We keep that dumbbell moving this whole time. There you go. And hold at the top. Keep that elbow up, keep that chest towards the ground. You're trying to flex right here in your mid to upper back. Keep that elbow close to your body. Keep it squeezed. There you go, keep fighting. Three seconds. Down. You will have 15 seconds to switch arms. How'd that feel? Not as easy as that. Awesome. When you grab 15 pounds like a crazy craze. I thought it was. She's strong. Don't let her fake on me. Ready? And we are rowing. These should be fast reps, pulling towards the hip with the opposite arm we used last round. She is pulling quick. She is moving like Lightning McQueen right now. Killing it, girl. Keep it up. Keep it up. After this, we're going to be doing nice, slow reps. Slow it down. There we go. Nice, slow movements. She's keeping her torso nice and flat here. She has a nice, flat back. Notice those legs are absorbing, and she's using them as she's moving. There you go. Looking good, Eve. Looking good. And hold it. Last one. Big tight. Keep that back flex. Keep your elbow close to your body here. We do not want that elbow leaving you. Almost there. Keep it going. We're almost there. Down. After this, we have one more round on each side. So we're going to rotate to the original arm here. Back to our fast rows. How you feeling? Nice staggered position. Hand is right above the knee. Oh, what's up, Oscar san What's up, buddy? Is the video quality good? We're recording this from the phone, so I hope it looks alright. And slow. There you go. Nice and slow. She's staying in control here. She's squeezing tight. She's not pausing at the top or the bottom here. She's staying in control of that dumbbell the entire time. And pause, hold it, stay tight. Here we go, big squeeze, big squeeze. Keep that back nice and flat here. We're not trying to cheat. Almost there. Down, we will be rotating. This will be the last one for this round. We on that left arm. So go ahead, take a second, make sure you got a couple nice deep breaths. Get a little sip of water if you need it, and get ready. So we are staggered. Hand is right above the knee. We're pulling quick here. Get it. Here we go. Looking good. Make sure you're breathing here. Nice, steady breathing pace in and out. Looking good, Eve. We are almost there. Slow. She's taking her time now. That dumbbell, notice, is getting pulled directly to her hip. She's not pulling this straight up into her armpit. She's almost arching back into her hip. That is how we get a better activation of our lats and back. Big squeeze. Hold it. Stay tight. Don't move. You're doing great. Oh, no. Oh, no. She can't do it. Oh, my God. She's almost there. Damn. Now, last up of our three exercises, we're going to be doing the twist, which was the last exercise we had in our warm-up. We will be taking our bag of onions from our hip up and across that shoulder in a nice, big, rotational fashion. We will do 20 seconds fast, 20 seconds slow, and then the last one will be a hold directly out in front of you. So no matter what side you're doing, the hold will be directly in the center of your chest. So starting off at the right hip, get set, begin. Right hip, big rotation here. You want to throw that dumbbell and cause your core to stop you from rotating. So throw it behind the hip and throw it over the shoulder as much as you possibly can. Quick reps here and slow. Slow it down here. Bring it up and above the shoulder. I want you more over here. There you go. Bring it down. Bring it right to my hand. Up and over. Over, there you go, good. Right back down. Looking good, nice and slow. Last up, you're gonna hold center of the chest. Hold it right in the center here. Keeping that core tight. Try to keep the arms as far out in front of you as you can. If it starts getting too heavy, just gradually move those hands into your body 
and it'll feel like it's getting lighter. Yeah! 15 seconds of rest, and then we're going to be going from left hip to right shoulder. Good, get set. Over the left hip, and we're rotating, throwing it over that right shoulder. Big twist, throwing all the way over. Notice the small pivotings of the feet here. That's how you get a good rotational force of your hips. Keep it moving, guys. Slow, slow it down. Keep moving, guys. You're staying a little too low. I want you to start pulling higher sooner. There you go. And down. I mean, hold. Whoopsie. Holding at the top here. That's why you got a partner, guys. You got someone keeping it in check. She's keeping it tight here. Is it getting heavy? A little bit. Getting heavy? Yes. Push. Yes, yes, yes. No, it's heavy. Oh, God, rest. We have one more on each side. Good job, guys. Get ready. We're starting off at the right hip with nice, fast reps here. So get ready. Nice, solid stance from hip to shoulder. There we go. Come in a direct line across the body like you were trying to yeet a cat off of your bed. There you go, baby. There you go. Now we're rotating the slope. Slow reps. Nice and slow. We're still staying in control here. Full body rotating. Staying nice and tight. There we go. Keep that dumbbell away from you. The farther it is, the harder this is going to be. And pause out in front. Try and keep those arms as straight as you possibly can here. Ooh. That bag of onions is getting kind of heavy, isn't it? Almost there, guys. Three seconds. Down. Next up, and lastly, we will be going to that left hip to right shoulder. Feeling all right? Yep. Looking good, guys. We're almost done with our first working set. And go. There we go. There we go. Good job. Good rotation. Good pace. She is moving quick, ladies and gentlemen. If you can keep up with this young lady right here, you are kicking some butt right now. And slow. Slow motion. Slow motion. There you go. Good job. Don't worry about those little T-Rex arms. They ain't scaring me. Keep it up, guys. Good, solid rotations. Core stays tight here. And last one. Pausing. We are holding here. Come on, guys. Ooh, come on, guys. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. You are looking good. Keep breathing. I know those shoulders are working. Down. Okay, so we have one final round with our first working set. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all three of those exercises one last time, but this time we're gonna go, hold on. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right, 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 and then left, left, left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all three timers. We're gonna do fast, slow, hold for our press with the right hand, and then same thing with the row, and then same thing with the twist, and then we'll switch to our left side, all right? So just try and keep pace with Erica over here. I'll be explaining the whole time. Awesome job, guys. If you aren't already, make sure you're following. We're gonna be doing a lot more workouts up here, so I wanna make sure that we provide you with the workouts that you guys need during this harsh, quarantine time. Or if you just don't feel like going to a gym once they open back up, we'll still be here making sure you guys get the workouts you need at home. All right, so we're going to start this last little round in 15 seconds. So go ahead and make your way to your dumbbells or your sack of onions, small pet, child, whatever you're using as a weight here. And we're going to start off with fast right arm shoulder presses. Begin. Nice and fast here. Staying springy, she's moving. Now, slow, slow reps, 10 seconds here. You guys are doing great. We're gonna try and keep moving here. Don't want you guys to stop. And hold, 10 seconds. You're gonna get a short amount of time to switch to the next exercise, which will be the single arm row with the same arm. So 10 seconds to switch. Change your onions out if you need to. Get in that nice, taggered stance. Put your onions back. 
Get ready and row. These are fast. 10 seconds, you need to be banging these out. Keep these quick. Come on, hustle, hustle, hustle. Keep it moving, keep it moving. 10 seconds, slow, moving that weight as slow as you possibly can without pausing at the top or the bottom. Killing it, keep it up. And hold. After this, we will be moving on to our twist from right hip to left shoulder. So change onions if you need to. Drop it. Last one. Change the onions. So we're going right hip over to that left shoulder. Start off with our fast reps. Twisting. She's throwing it directly over that shoulder, keeping her core tight, moving the entire time. Here we go. Looking good, E. Looking good, E. And slow. Slow it down. Stay in control. Keep that core tight. Moving that weight the entire time. We are looking good. Last one. Hold out in front. Hold it. 10 seconds. We're looking good, guys. Now, after this is done, we're going to be moving on to our left side. So, starting off with that left press fast. So, 10 seconds. Grab whatever weight you want to use for your presses here. Are you going for the yeah, she did. Crazy. It's light. Get ready and press. Nice and quick. Keeping that core tight. Notice she's not using her leg. You got a little balance, but that is it. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. And slow. She's keeping that core tight. She's staying in control of that dumbbell the whole time. Keep it moving, guys. You're doing great. Last up, we're holding at the top. Get it up. Hold it. Ooh, she feel a little shake going on there. The shoulders should be getting tired. You guys are doing excellent so far. Down. Next up, we're gonna be doing our rows. So go ahead and rotate to the side, get in that staggered position. Hand is right above the knee, and we're pulling quick here. 10 seconds, trying to get as many reps in as you possibly can. Crank them out. Let's go, come on, pump it out. Slow. Moving slow, take your time, don't pause, keep that core tight, back stays nice and flat, moving the entire time. Do not give up here. Last one, hold it. Big squeeze here, keeping it tight. Woo, keep breathing. We're almost there, guys. Down, that last one here is gonna be our three rotations, coming from left hip to right shoulder. So go ahead and get the onions you're gonna use. This is it for our first working set. Let's get it nice and quick. Stay high, there you go. Big rotation, throwing it over the shoulder as hard as you can, get those reps in. Keep pushing, come on. There you go. And slow it down, nice and slow. Keep in control. There you go, looking good, E, looking good, E. Whoa. <laughs> and hold it in the center. This is your final 10 seconds here. There you go, keep it tight, E, keep it tight. Almost there. So that was it for our first working set. We have one more working set with a few different exercises. It is not nearly as long, but it still should be pretty tough, all right? So take this second, make sure you get some water and you are getting some air as well. Make sure you're taking this time to recover. <sighs> big breaths in, big breaths out, a couple sips of water, and we're gonna get set for our next round. So while you guys are resting, I will explain our next series of exercises. But first, if you're enjoying the workout, you're having some fun, uh, go ahead and hit that like, maybe subscribe button, I don't know, because we're gonna try and bring you more workouts through the next coming weeks, and we wanna make sure you guys are updated every time we get those workouts in, all right? So, we're gonna be alternating between two exercises for this next round, all right? Both of them are gonna be laying on the ground, both only requiring one dumbbell. So go ahead, I will demonstrate. First one, we're gonna lay right on our backs. I wanna make sure my shoulders are pressed against the ground and the dumbbell is in a single hand. Don't really care what I do with my feet here. They can be straight, they can be bent, doesn't matter all too much. But all I'm gonna do is that elbow is gonna come straight into the ground at a 45 degree angle from my body. Tricep is gonna to touch the ground, and then I'm gonna press straight back up. Elbow comes straight to the ground, press straight up. Tap the ground, right back up, all right? That's our first exercise. That is our floor press. 
The second exercise is going to be a half get up. This one's a little tougher. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in almost that same star position. I'm going to have that arm up. This time, only that leg will be bent, all right? So whatever side I have my weight in, that leg will be bent. Opposite hand will be planted on the ground. I'm going to push through this hand and through this heel, and I'm going to sit up, extending fully, keeping that weight over my shoulder the whole time. And then we are slowly going to bend that elbow and sit back to neutral, all right? So let's see this again from a different angle, all right? Weight's in my right hand, right leg is bent, left leg is planted on the ground. I push through this arm, sitting up all the way until my arm is fully extended, and I'm upright, pointing towards the ceiling. I'm gonna bend that arm, elbow, and I'm gonna sit right back down to the ground, all right? So the way this is gonna work, we're gonna do the right arm press, and then immediately into a right arm get up, all right? And then we'll get a small break to switch arms in between. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do 40 seconds press, 40 seconds get up. We're going to do that right, left, and then 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. And we're gradually going to beat it down out of you guys. All right? So go ahead and find whatever space you're using. Welcome to the club, guys. Good to see you all here. And we're going to get this started. You can use a dumbbell. You can use a bag of onions, cat, small child, whatever you need to use here. Miss Erica is going to be using a 15 pound dumbbell, I believe, for this. Oh, All right, so we're going to be starting off with 40 seconds of floor press, followed immediately by 40 seconds of our half get up. You guys ready for this? E, you ready? Yes. She's ready. I hope you guys are ready at home too. If your cat's squirming too much, grab a little catnip, it'll calm it right down. All right, so starting in 10 seconds, we're gonna be doing 40 seconds of floor press. So back is flat on the ground, feet can be planted as well. We're trying to bring that arm to a 45 degree angle to the ground, tapping that elbow, and then coming right back up. What we wanna make sure we don't do is pick that arm up so it is flat right here. We want it tucked a little more, so we're at a 45 degree angle here. Tapping that elbow nice and easy to the ground, and then pressing all the way back up. Looking good, eat. We got 20 seconds left. Now as soon as we're done with this 20 seconds, we're gonna go immediately into 40 seconds of our half get ups. Sound good? Looking great, guys. So we got eight seconds left. We are almost there. Keep pushing. Three. So we want to straighten that left leg out, plant that hand on the ground, and you're going to sit up all the way until we are flat, and then we're going to come right back down to the ground. We're pushing through that foot, pushing through that hand until we are at full extension, and then you're going to sit right back down to the ground. We've got 40 seconds of this, looking good. E. Big push, straightening out that bottom arm, and then laying all the way back out to a nice neutral position. Make sure only the leg that has the weight is bent the other leg should be straight as we're moving through this movement. Looking good, we got eight seconds left. You guys are killing it at home. We're gonna have a small break to switch hands. Make sure you switch over your chest and not over your face. Never change weights over your face. That's the money maker, baby. We don't wanna ruin that, right? <laughs> so now we're gonna be switching to the opposite arm. So we're gonna be rolling over to that left. We're gonna be starting here in about five seconds. So go ahead and get it in the lefty. 40 seconds of presses. Now, nice and easy. Let that tricep tap the ground gently and then press all the way up. Tap and press. There you go, looking good, Eddie, looking good. Tap and go, you guys are doing a great job here. Keep that dumbbell moving. Try not to pause at the top or the bottom, but make sure you stay breathing the entire time you're going. There you go, breathe in. 12 seconds left, we're almost there. And we're going immediately into those sit-ups. Five seconds, you wanna straighten that right leg out, plant that right arm against the ground, arm should be straight and we are sitting up. There you go, right back down. Now when you come back down, make sure you stay in control. You don't just wanna flop back down into the ground. We wanna keep that core engaged and we wanna come down nice and slow here. Good push. 
Coming down, keeping that core tight, trying to keep that dumbbell directly over the shoulder the entire time you're moving here. You're looking great, E. 15 seconds left. There we go, there we go. Looking good at 10. Now, once this round is over, we're going to get that 20 seconds to switch hands, and then we're moving on to a 30 second round. Down. Make sure you bring the weight to your chest, and we switch over the chest, not over the face. So that was our 40 second round. Next up is going to be 30 seconds of each, so 30, 30, and then 20, 20, and then finally 10 and 10. Five seconds, get ready for your presses. And press, tap to the ground, press it right back up. If you don't have a dumbbell at home, you can use a cat, you can use a pillow full of books, no animals. you can use a bag of onions, what? No animals. I think you can use animals. My partner doesn't see any can. But I think if they're chill enough, you certainly can. After this, we're going to 30 seconds of our half sit-ups. So straighten that left leg out, plant that left arm on the ground, and we are sitting up and right back down. I want you guys to leave a comment if you think you should be able to use animal here or not. Help me out here. There we go. We're sitting up all the way, extending that bottom arm and then sitting right back down. Make sure that foot is planted deep into the ground, and then we're laying right back down. Ten seconds left. Killing it, E. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Down. Now, since our work periods are getting less, our rest periods are going to be getting less as well. So we only get 16 seconds of rest here, and we're going to be switching to the opposite arm. So go ahead and get ready for your presses. And begin. I had like 17 people saying using cats is okay. Lies. Okay, it was a lie. Nobody helped me out at all. You guys, come on. You gotta help me out right here. The working out. How am I supposed to win an argument without your guys' help? You're supposed to help me. Oh. There you go. Keep pushing. Tapping that ground with the tricep and coming right back up. That tricep getting tired? Yep. Woo! Those arms should be getting tired now. You guys are doing great. Right into our sit-ups. Plant that hand, straighten that leg out. We're coming all the way up, flatten out, and then right back down. Robin said no animals. Gosh darn it, Robin, come on. What the heck, you wouldn't use one of your cats nice and easy to do this? Huh? They would love this sort of attention. Love it. Sitting all the way up. We got 10 seconds now. <laughs> what, you got spaz cats or something? Almost there, guys. Down. That was great. Now we're switching back over to that other side and we're going for 20 second rounds this time. Those arms should be getting really tired. No animals unless you want to get mauled. What kind of animals do you guys have here? <laughs> right arm. Get that arm up and we are pressing here. Nice and quick reps. Tap that tricep to the ground and press it right back up. I've had some pretty chill cats that I think I could have done this with. Uh, maybe not dogs. I've always had big dogs, but... I totally think I could have done this with one or two of my cats. Getting ready for our sit-ups. Straighten that left leg out. Sitting all the way up nice and big tight. Flatten it out. Keeping that weight over the shoulder the entire time. You'll love me, Lilu. Lilu's like, what, 160 pounds? I think I could do this with 160 pounds. I totally tried at least once. Damn, we will be switching arms. You only get 12 seconds of rest this round, and we're getting to the other side. Five seconds, get ready. Going for our presses here. Begin. There you go, pressing it up, right back down. Tap and go, tap and go. So that was three no's to the uses of animals. Uh, I seem to be um, outnumbered here, so I guess you can't use animals. Getting ready for our sit ups and go. You can, however, use a nice bag of onions. So if there are no, if we got any animals at the house, onions will do, apparently. Sit all the way up here, extending fully, big squeeze, and then right back down. You guys are doing a great job here. Keep pushing all the way up, all the way down. We have one final round, guys. This is gonna be a quick round. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. You only get eight seconds of rest, so these are gonna be 
really quick. Get ready with that right arm, press in and go. Tap and go, tap and go, there we go, looking good, looking good. You guys should be burning out at home too. Short time and sit ups, it's only 10 seconds so make sure you get right into this. Keep pushing, there we go, keep a nice fast pace here, this is our last round guys, keep pushing. Down, switching arms, you only get eight seconds, but keep that weight exchange safe and keep it over your chest. Get ready, set it, begin. She's pressing, she's keeping these quick, triceps tapping the ground. There we go, five seconds left, this is your last round, guys. Right into those half sit-ups, plant the hand up, let's get it. Sit up, plant that hand and push. Right back down, I want at least three of these guys, get it up. Come on, you got one more, eat. Three seconds, get it for me, come on. Uh. Well, she is absolutely killing it. I hope you guys are working half as hard as she is. Because if you are, you're getting one heck ski of a workout. I'm sure her triceps are just about cooked right now. You guys should be feeling all right at home too. And I have one final round for you guys that I refer to as the burnout round. All right? This is a series of exercises that we are gonna do back to back to back to back to try and burn out a few of the muscles that we have used today. Just to make sure that you have given a maximum effort today because that's how we get better you push yourself and then you get better for next time so this is going to be me just trying to help push you guys a little bit all right so this is going to be three movements here you're going to use a small dumbbell or a little bag of onions apparently no animals that's fine what about stuffed animals is that okay maybe a heavy stuffed animal all right but we're going to be using a small dumbbell here and we're going to be rotating between three different movements all right, the first one is going to be a front raise in which my arms will be slightly bent and I will lift the weights from hips to eyes. So hips, eyes, hips, eyes. We're just gonna keep a nice steady pace of that, making sure that I'm rotating from the shoulder and not the elbow, all right? That's our first exercise. The second exercise is going to be a curl, which we will start in the same position. And this time we are gonna rotate from the elbow and then right back down. The upper arm should stay right where it's at, and I'm simply pivoting at the elbow, and that's gonna be our curl. So first exercise, front raise, second exercise, curl, third exercise is going to be a press, which we will have the weight at our chest, and you will press overhead, right back to the chest. Press, overhead, chest, overhead, all right? So we have front raise, curls, and presses, all right? While you're doing this, there will be no rest, zero rest, none, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with 30 seconds, and you're gonna do 30 seconds of each, 30, 30, 30, and then 25, 25, 25, 20, 20, 20, all the way down to five seconds of each, and this should burn you guys out. I don't necessarily expect you to continue doing this the whole time, but I expect you to give 100% here and keep pushing until you can. And once you can, take a small second to rest and then try and hop right back into the mix with us. All right, so I'm gonna get our timer set up. You guys go ahead and grab your bag of onions. She doesn't like the bag of onions. All right, and we're gonna start off with front raises for 30 seconds, all right? So, you ready? She's ready. I hope you guys at home are ready too. So grab your dumbbell, your bag of onions, or your heavy stuffed animal, and we're going to get this cranking, everybody. So, starting in 10 Eckel Schmecks, and we're starting off with our front raises. Should be cupped at the sides, elbows should be slightly bent. We're coming from hips to eyes, and then right back down. Nice, steady, quick pace here. We don't want to keep these very slow. Keep it moving the entire time. Keep pushing, guys. Nice steady pace. Lifting all the way up, bring it right back down. Woo! There you go. Now, as soon as we're done with this, this timer is going to click over and we're going directly in to our curls. So keep that upper arm right where it's at, curling up to the chest, and then right back down. So curls. There we go. Right to it. Nice steady pace. That upper arm shouldn't be moving at all. Do you want to turn to the side? There we go. She's keeping that upper arm directly where it's at. She's not heaving and hoeing here. Trying to keep that torso upright, and she's moving the whole time. 
Now, as soon as we're done with this next couple of seconds, we're going to go right into those presses, pressing directly overhead. There you go, five seconds. Dumbbell at your chest, pressing straight up overhead, pressing. We want to keep the butt, legs, and core tight here the entire time. That is your midsection. If that midsection isn't tight, we're going to start arching at the lower back, which is going to put more stress on there than that we would like. So keep this whole midsection, tummy, butt, and thighs flexed and squeezed the entire time to reduce that stress on your lower back. Now after this is done, we're into 25 seconds of front raises. No break, no rest. Front raises. Yes, I'm crazy. Great. Is there something lighter? Something lighter than 10 pounds? I don't think so, ladies and gentlemen. If you had a bag of onions, you could take an onion out. But she didn't want onions, apparently. She wanted to look professional. After this video, me. show me how you would do I'm going to use some onions next round. So we're going right into our bicep curls here. Curls. There we go. Nice curls. You peeping the arms right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. She's doing so good. Welcome to the party, guys. You should get it working. Keep pulling all the way up, all the way down. Notice that upper arm isn't moving at all. She's keeping her core braced and she's moving this entire time. Do not give up. We have five seconds, then you're moving immediately into your overhead press. Weights at the chest, pressing overhead. Let's get it. Keeping that tummy, butt, and thighs tight the entire time. Trying to spring off that bottom position all the way to that upright position. Robin, you can totally use onions. I'm gonna use onions next time, just to prove y'all wrong. All right? Now we're moving right onto those front raises. Front raises, get them up. There you go, good she's, job, guy. She's gonna like hold the bag of onions. Yeah, you're gonna hold the bag of onions. Hey, you yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it like a, a bag of onions. <laughs> I can totally do this right now. Keep moving, guys, you're doing great. Guys, can you Text in the chat if you think you could use a bag of onions here. Curls, get it. Arms stay tight. Moving straight from the elbow. Looking good, guys. So I want you to say in chat, yay or nay, can you use a bag of onions to do this workout? So you hold it from the neck? Put your response in there. Going on to shoulder presses. Shoulder press, get it up. Bouncing off that chest, looking good. Spraying. There you go, you keep it up, keep it up. Many more times? We have a thousand more exercises left. This, is, this ain't called a burnout for no reason, folks. It's gonna destroy it. Now we're moving right back to those front raises. Up. Oh, this is our 15 rounds. We got 15, 10, and 5 left. I need you to look a little more excited than that. There you go. Big smile. <laughs> yeah. Happy. There we go. Keep pushing. Five seconds left. And curls, curl it out, guys. That 10 pounds is getting mighty heavy right now. Bet you wish I could take an onion out. Don't oh, no, kind of Did you see that face? I'm gonna get stabbed after this. Getting ready for presses. And press, press. There we go, guys. We are almost there. This is our 15 round, which means we only have 10 and five left. So you guys are almost there. It's only 45 seconds more of work. <sighs> Keep pushing, E. You're doing great. Back to our front raises, 10 seconds, only 10 seconds. You guys need to keep pushing through this. Keep it up. There you go, all the way up, all the way down. Keep it tight, don't stop me, you got it. And curls, nice and easy. Curl it up, all the way up, all the way down. Coral says yes, we can use onions. Thanks, Coral. Cool. And shoulder presses, 10 seconds. After this, it is five seconds, five seconds, five seconds, which is nothing. So I expect you guys not to stop at all. Curl, or front raise, there we go. Five seconds, don't give up. We got our curls. Don't stop it, you better keep those arms moving, guys. Keep popping, keep popping, there we go. Onto our shoulder press, five seconds. Get it, quick, 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 pop them out, pop them out. Woo, give it all you got. Down, 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 down. Great work today, guys. That was a lot of fun. I'm exhausted, that was just. This guy. That was tiring. All right, you guys, if you were able to keep up with Miss Erica at home, you did a great job. Uh, we're gonna be looking to stream on Twitch more frequently. We're probably gonna do this about three times a week, hopefully, if it continues to go well. 
I think you guys did great today. Uh, it was nice to see, what, about 12 people in here. That's awesome. We're trying to get that community to grow. So make sure you guys tell people about us, share, make sure you follow us so you can get updates next time we do our exercises. Um, uh, I think we might start doing these more next week, hopefully. We've been doing this on Facebook Live for the last like month or so, and it has not been a good experience. So I think we're gonna take over Twitch and see what we can do with that. Um, now finally, what we're gonna do is a little cool down to get you guys relaxed. Um, but if you did have fun today, um, make sure you follow, you subscribe, um, because that's what's going to help this channel grow, and that's what we need to continue to do this stuff. So, we're going to cool you guys down. So, go ahead. We're going to get a little stretching in. I'm going to get my handy-dandy timer. So, the first thing that we're going to do is a simple arm rotation. So, what you're going to do is you're going to lift your arm up to 90 degrees. We're going to be nice and flat. And what you're going to do from this 90 degrees is we're going to try and rotate backwards and you're going to try and hold that backwards rotation for about 20 to 30 seconds. You guys ready? So get that arm up to 90 degrees and we're going to pull that arm straight back as far as you can. And I want to make sure that I'm not moving my whole body here. I want to keep my butt tight tummy tight so when I rotate at the shoulder, my midsection doesn't bow with my arm. So we're pulling it back. Notice we're nice and flat here. We don't want to be sagging as we're doing this flat, pulling straight back as much as we can. After this 10 seconds is up, you're going to get about 5 seconds to switch arms and then we're going to get right into that next arm. Rotate other arm right to it, pulling it back, trying to Twist back as far as we can, keeping that arm nice and flat with the ground. There you go. Looking good. Make sure you're breathing nice and deep during your stretches. Stretches are here to make sure that we loosen those muscles up. So we want to make sure we're taking nice, relaxing, deep breaths so we can ensure that those muscles are going to loosen up as much as they possibly can. Down. Next up is going to be a shoulder cross. I'm simply going to cross my shoulder across the body. Other arm is going to come right behind that elbow. I'm going to try and pull this across my body as much as I possibly can. Pull it nice and tight. There you go. Thanks, ladies. Yeah, she did awesome today. If you guys kept up with her at all, you did awesome today as well. Um, I would like to give it up for this little lady right here. She's working out like six days a week just making sure we can get these live workouts in. So this wouldn't be possible without her, so make sure you guys give her a nice round of applause. Uh, go ahead and switch arms right away. Switching we're across the body, in front of the elbow, dragging across the torso. There you go, make sure again, we're taking nice big breaths here. Now we do have a workout on Facebook Live tomorrow, so if you're not following us on Facebook, go check out our Facebook, um, and we will be doing a chair full body workout. So it will require a chair, and I will destroy you guys with just simply a chair. Next on our agenda is going to be a wrist pull. So I'm gonna have my arms straight out in front of me. I'm gonna grab my fingertips here, straightening my arm out, trying to pull those fingers towards me at a nice big pull. There you go. There you go, there you go. <coughs> Got the wrong one. <laughs> pull it nice and tight. Make sure you keep breathing here. You should feel a nice big pull going all the way up that forearm right here. And for you all typers too much, you definitely need this one. Go ahead and switch sides right away. Big pull, making sure we're keeping that arm straight. Trying to pull from those fingertips. There we go. Robin, she knows. <laughs> Don't feed into her, Robin. That's right. Give it up. Almost there, guys. We have one more stretch. Big breaths here. So what we're going to do for our last stretch is we're going to take the hand. I want you to grab your shoulder the best you can. 
We're going to get that elbow in line with the body, and then I'm going to take this hand, grab that elbow, and I'm going to pull it over and behind my head as much as I can, trying to keep that other arm on the shoulder and keeping that elbow in line. So lift it up, nice big pull here. Looking good. Trying to keep the butt tight. We want to make sure that we're not destroying our backs here while we are stretching. So keep your tummy tight, keep your butt tight. But we're trying to pull that arm and we're taking nice big breaths to relax here. Short time and then we're going to be switching directly into the other arm. Go ahead and get ready and switch right away. Grab that shoulder, elbow is in line and we're pulling that elbow up, back and behind your head as far as you possibly can. Woo! Big breaths here. Good job, Eep. Keep breathing, we're almost there. Awkward silence with no music at the end. Perfect timing, thanks music. And relax. Oof, great, great work today guys. That was a lot of fun. I love doing these classes. Love communicating with you guys when we were working out. Uh, it's always a good time for me and Erica to see you guys in here having a great workout. So if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe or whatever you do here on Twitch because we're going to be doing this more often like I said. We will also be posting these videos on YouTube later if you missed it and you want to catch up with us later. So you will have access with that. So we'll all try and clip those later. Um, Erica, you absolutely killed it today. Thank Excellent you. job. Thank you guys for coming and showing up and supporting the stream. Uh, we'll try and upload a calendar of when we plan on doing these uh, a little more frequently. Uh, if you don't already follow us on Facebook or Instagram, our links should be somewhere around here, maybe below us, I don't know. But we will be here more often for you guys because we want to make sure that we're providing a good workout for our community and the people that we want to support. So thank you all for coming. Miss Erica, you got anything? Good work today, guys. Great work today, guys. We are doing another workout on Facebook Live tomorrow morning at 9.30. So if you're interested in that, feel free to message me and we will give you all the details that we can for that. Um, great work today, guys. This was fun and we will see you next time. I'll let you guys know when. But until then, good work today, guys. Have a great weekend.